Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video that I've never done before, and that is what's in my purse. I thought this would be fun because, I mean, this is a video that's been going around on YouTube forever, and <coughs> I'm good. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys how I organize my purse. Um, so this purse, I actually don't know what brand it is. I got it at Goodwill for like five dollars, um, which is typically how I roll because Goodwill is awesome. I really like the way that this purse is organized. So, and I've seen a lot of purses that are kind of a similar style to this, but it has a pocket right here in the front where you can kind of just like slide your phone in. Um, and then there are two compartments um, on either side, and then in the middle, there's a zipper compartment, and it's, you know, it's a bigger compartment where you can store all kinds of things. So anyway, let me just go ahead and start with this front pocket, and this is just going to be super random. Um, so I have in this front pocket about a thousand bobby pins. I think that these ended up in here when I uh, was in... <laughs> I was in my best friend's wedding and we actually had our hair done and I ended up doing an updo and that apparently required like hundreds of bobby pins to be in my hair so that if you can imagine was quite a chore to <laughs> take out of my hair um, but for some reason I just put those in there and now I have a lifetime supply of bobby pins so there's also a mint in here from Foga de Chao um, <laughs> I kind of forgot I had that cool so then in this compartment this first kind of side compartment. I keep, um, well I have two hair bows in there so that's good. I also, this is what I like to put in whatever bag I'm carrying with me so I can kind of easily transfer it if I'm, you know, switching to like a backpack or, you know, a smaller purse or whatever. This is just something that has kind of all of the essentials. And it's just a pouch. It's a very weird, like, psychedelic looking pattern. I don't even know where this came from. but. Um, so in here I have some hand cream. This is the Burt's Bees uh, Milk and Honey Body Lotion. I got that as a gift. Um, and so that, I just threw that in there. Um, I've got some ibuprofen because you never know when you're going to need that. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Uh, tampons. <laughs> I mean, hey, we all need them. And then I also have this contact lens relief uh, eye drops because um, I have problems with my contacts getting dry, like, all the time. I've got a little compact type mirror in here. This is, I think this is from e.l.f. actually. And it's got kind of a regular size and then a magnified size, so comes in handy every now and then. Um, I've got some hand sanitizer. This is from Bath & Body Works. Um, I don't purchase from them anymore because, in my opinion, they're not cruelty-free. Um, but this is their Vanilla Bean Noel uh, hand sanitizer. It's just something that... I happen to have from a long time ago, so I keep it in here. Um, I've got this little pack of band-aids. It's like a little band-aid dispenser thing that I think I got for free one time. And that's nice. Uh, cough drop. There's honestly no telling how old this cough drop is. I should probably throw it away, actually, because it looks really old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss that now, actually. Okay, um, I have a lip balm in here. This is the Red Apple Lipstick Rally Balm. This has been really nice. I've only had it for a short time, but it's it looks like a lipstick, but it's really just a balm in a lipstick type packaging. So that's been fun. And this also has an SPF of 8 in it, which is nice to have. Um, and then I have this little, like, cloth tissue uh, holder thing that my, my cousin actually made these. Like, she hand sewed them herself. And it has this really cute, like, whale pattern on it. Um, and so it has this opening where you can store tissues, which I thought was really nifty. So whenever I need to refill it, I just kind of fold up some regular tissues and stuff them in there. So, and so that's what's in that little pouch. And those are kind of all the essentials where, um, you know, whenever I'm switching purses or whatever, it's just easy for me to make sure I know that I have those essential items in there. So now let's move on to this big zipper section. Um, this is actually big enough to hold my small MacBook. Um, it's a, it's, I, th I think it may be like 10 inches. It's a small laptop, but it fits in here really nicely. I don't have that in here right now, but um, I'm glad that I am able to carry that if I need to. I've got just this uh, notepad in here. I'm not really sure why I have that in there, um, but it, I mean, I guess it's helpful to have every now and then. And then um, I've got my passion planner. I talked about this a lot more in my best of 2017 video. 
So if you want to hear more about it, check out that video. But this is my planner that I use. I absolutely love it. And I this year I have the compact version, which is nice because I can't fit it in my purse. So that's been really good so far this year. And I also used that last year as well. Um, and then I've got this pouch of where I store like writing utensils. I have like my headphones in there. Um, just little sticky notes and things. That's kind of my, my planner pouch. So that's all for that big middle section. And then over here in this compartment, all I have actually is my keys slash wallet. So all my keys and wallet are kind of on the same little contraption here. This is one of those Vera Bradley um, wallets. Mine is very old and ratty. It's definitely seen better days, but um, it has like this section here for your phone. Um, and normally my phone is in my purse too, but right now it's over there. And then here in the front we have this like little window section. That's where I keep like my driver's license and then my debit card is, I just keep it in there because it's easy to take out. Um, and then of course this inside section, there's a little change area. This is where I keep like rewards cards, insurance cards, all that important stuff. And then a um, little section here for like cash and receipts and stuff. Um, and then on the actual keychain itself, I have pepper spray. <laughs> and in addition to pepper spray, I also have one of these personal alarm things. So if I were ever in a scary situation, God forbid, where someone is, you know, attacking me or something, um, you press this button and it sets off like an extremely loud, I know this because I accidentally set it off <laughs> the other day, um, a, a really, really loud alarm so that it's supposed to like scare the attacker and then, you know, people can come rescue you in, in theory. So my, <laughs> my dad got me both of those things because, of course, he always wants to make sure I'm safe. Um, and then I've got my little library card, my Walgreens rewards card, Kroger card there, and um, my like gym membership card, and my car keys, and my house keys. So that's it for that. And so that is it for what I carry in my purse. I try to keep it pretty uh, cleared out. I don't like to have too much random crap in here, like receipts and just papers and candy wrappers and stuff like that. I like to kind of clean it out every now and then just to keep myself feeling somewhat sane. So anyway, I hope that was fun and helpful and I hope it, you know, helped you kind of get some ideas for what to put in your purse and how to organize it. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!